Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In our last session, we saw how um, we can achieve parent to child uh, communication in LWC components. In this session, we'll be focusing on child to parent communication, right? So as we have already seen that passing a public property from a parent and then receiving it in the child is probably the easiest way to achieve parent to child communication, right? In the case of child to parent communication, it is a bit uh, complicated, I would say, because from the child component, we would have to pass the value to the parent component using custom events. Okay, there is no other way that you can do it. So the first thing that you have to keep in your mind is that if you want to achieve the communication from child to parent component, you would have to create a custom event, right? And then that is that is how we can achieve it, right? So and um, Another thing to note about custom event constructor is that it always takes one required parameter that would be a string, right? Which refers to the event type basically. So don't worry about it. We'll, we'll see how, how it can be done, right? So we'll take an example and then we'll try to understand that how this can be achieved. And in this particular example, um, the requirement, the basic requirement would be that when the user enters something in the in an input box, right? We'll provide an input box. And whatever user enters in that input box, the component will create and dispatch the custom event, right? And then that event will include that data in detail property, okay? And that is how the parent is going to receive this event, okay? So let's just go ahead and get started. So I'll start two components in my LWC folder. One would be for parent and one would be for child component, okay? So, Let me create it as, I will precede it with a letter so that again, right, it would be together just to, for a better understanding, parent. And then uh, let me create a child as well, okay, B, child. Okay, so I have my, I have created two components. One is child and then the other one is parent okay so let's just get started with the child component okay so as i said right that i would have to my plan was to create an input box right and then whatever the value user enters into into that input box that value i would be passing to the parent component but using event right so the first thing that we have to achieve is we have to create that input box and that we are going to do in the child component okay so let me go to the child component and let me first go to the HTML file, okay? And here I would be creating lightning input box, okay? And in this lightning input box, what I want to do is I want to give a label first and i would say enter your value this is our input box that i'm providing uh to the user so that he can enter whatever he want right and um on change right if you guys remember from the previous sessions for every like you know in there's there's no direct way for data binding right you would have to achieve it using an event right so here let's say let me define any uh, function name so handle change let's say right so what i so whenever user enters any value into this right into this input box i want to track that new value right the, always the updated value so every time i will be receiving that new value using the event right so let me go to the html file sorry the js file and i will receive this value that user enters right so First of all, let me create a property because um, like, you know, wherever I want to keep this value, okay? So this, and this was the function that I created, right? So how we'll receive the value? We'll receive the value using target.data.value, correct? So search key, target dot data dot, sorry, event.target, right? From the event, we are getting it, correct? Event dot target dot value okay so we'll get the value whatever user enters into that input box okay now what as we discussed right what we have to do we have to pass this value right whatever the user is entering we have to pass this value to the 
parent component so that the parent component can display this value okay so what would i do i have to create an event as we discussed right so to create an event let's just define one and uh, i'm giving it a name as search event and then the constructor as if you remember the constructor will take a string data type right a string value it will ask for a string value so new uh, custom event this is how we define a custom event okay so here the first thing that i have to pass is i have to pass a string right let it give it a name let's just give it a name so sorry um get search value okay get search value okay and then what i have to do is i also have to pass the value right and how will i pass the value i have to pass the value in the detail okay so this dot search key has my value right so this is what i'll be passing and then i will enclose this event okay so my event is created here while creating the event what i have done is i have passed one string which is a required parameter and then i have passed the value which i want to pass along with this event right so once your event is created you have to dispatch this event okay so two steps right create the event and dispatch the event so dispatch event and what what will you dispatch the event that you have created and what is the event that you have created this is the name right so this is what you will be passing okay so this part is done right we have our child component wherein we have created an input box and right whatever the value the user will enter into the input box we are creating an event and passing that value in that event and dispatching that event now we'll go to the parent component and we'll try to call this child component into the parent component and we'll receive the value using the event okay so let's just go to the parent component now right so first of all uh, okay let me go to the html and just okay so this is my parent component okay this is my parent component okay and here what will i be doing i have to call my child component right so let's just call the child component first so how do we call c hyphen and then the component name right and i will be writing the component as it is if there are no capital letters if there are capital letters i have to re replace every capital letter with the same small letter and i have to precede it with a hyphen right so in my case my child component is includes all the small letters right so i will just type b child okay here it is okay now i have to basically i have to i have to receive that event right that event which was created right which was dispatched in my child component so how will i do it right on that event what will happen so the parent so okay so the sequence is that the parent component will basically listen uh the event right the the search value event that we have created okay and how it how it's gonna how it's gonna listen to that event you have to use this method okay so that method would be let's just go back to a child component and then you'll understand so this is the event that you have created right get search value okay so this get search value the the way you will uh, receive it in your parent component is you have to write it something like this so get search value and then let's just go back to parent component and here on get search value right on this event what do you have to do we can call a function wherein we'll go to the js file of this particular component and we'll receive the value from this event okay so let's just define another function handle uh, search value okay search search value so let me copy this and let me save this i hope you guys understood this right so this is the event name that you had defined and this is how you receive it right on and then the event name and here you have to define a function and then in this fun function basically you can go and receive the value that is coming along with this event okay so let's just go to the js file so in the js file what i have to do okay let me just create the function okay and uh, so first thing is that where have you where where like you know how you were sending the value along with the event okay so if you go to the child component back to the child component you were searching you were sending the search key right the value that user was entering into the detail right so that's what you have in your event so how i can receive it i can receive it using event 
dot detail okay now the thing is that i want to display this value okay so for displaying this value what i would do i will create a track property right and why am i creating a track property so that we i can have the updated value right to track the changes okay so just give it a search value or something like that search value and then in this search value i will receive this okay this dot search value and then sorry okay this dot okay and what now what we want to do is we want to display the value that is entered by the user and where do we want to display it we want to display it on the parent right that is why we have received this value okay so let's just go to the html and here let me create another tag okay um okay so this is how it should be done let me just create the config file and then we'll go through everything again we'll check like you know what we have done so targets and record page let me copy and then uh, paste the same thing over here as well okay and i believe this file is not saved let me save this this is not saved as well let me save this as well okay so what am i doing i if i like you know uh, let me close everything and then i can explain again okay so what i've done is in my child component right because i wanted to pass the value from child to parent right that is the objective of this um, example right from child to parent so in my child component i have created an input box and whatever users enter into that input box that particular value what i want to do i want to pass that particular value to the parent component okay but then how will i pass it i can pass it with the help of event okay custom event because that is how your child to parent communication happens in lwc components okay you have to do it with the help of custom event so what we did we have created an input box and here i we have created we have received the value we have created a custom event and in that custom event we are passing this value that user is entering like you know the value which we want to send to the parent component right and then we are dispatching this event okay now coming back to the parent component what we have done is we have received the event okay and we have received the event and we are fetching the value using this function okay and then we are storing this value into another property which is search value and then the ultimate goal is to display that value which user has entered into the child component but we have to display that into the parent component right so that's what i have done this search value after i have received it from the event i am displaying this search value right so let's just go ahead and deploy these components and then we can check if it is if the value that we are entering into the child component if that is getting displayed onto the parent component or not if the value is getting passed or not okay so i think the deployment is done now i did not see if this got deployed let me just do it again okay and i will open my it's open let me just refresh it and include the component okay okay so this is what we want to fetch sorry we this is not not fetch but include in our record page right this component wherein i would be able to see this label parent component and then i should be seeing the child component and what the child component holds the child component holds the input box and that is it right so whatever value i would be entering into the input box that would be displayed over here on the parent component right that's the goal okay so let's just go here and parent component just keep it here let me save it and then uh, we can let me just clear the cache and then we'll check on the contacts okay
Okay, this has come now. So you can see, right? This is your parent component, basically, right? Where is the header? Parent component. Here is the header. And after that, what is the second line? Here you have called the child component. And what is the HTML of the child component? If you go to the HTML of the child component, it is displaying you this header first, right? Child component, which is coming, child component. And then it is displaying you this input box. This input box, right? This input box. But then if you go back to the parent component, which we have included in our record page, this whatever user enters here, this particular line should get executed and it should display the entered value, okay? So let me go here and type something, see. So whatever you are entering into the child component is basically getting displayed onto your parent component, okay? So this is how you can achieve uh, child to parent communication in LWC using custom events, right? So a few points to remember is that uh, in your child component, you would be creating your custom event and then you have to pass like, you know, whatever value you want to pass from child to parent, that value you'll pass. And this custom event constructor will always have a required parameter, right? The name, the event type that you would give. So that is another thing. And then the final thing would be to, uh, sorry. And then again, you also have to dispatch it, right? From the child. So once you dispatch it and then going back to the parent component, you just have to, receive it and then like you know probably create a function to get the value and then if you want to display or do any other stuff in your uh, html file that you can do okay so i'll see you in the next session till then bye bye